briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1985, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case of Delaware v. Fensterer, which focused on a defendant's right to question and challenge the evidence against them, including the testimony of witnesses, in a criminal trial. William Fensterer had been convicted of murder in Delaware, but his conviction was overturned by the state Supreme Court due to a violation of his Sixth Amendment right to confront witnesses. This stemmed from the prosecution's expert witness, Special Agent Alan Robillard, being unable to recall the basis for his opinion on the murder weapon, a cat leash, which prevented effective cross-examination. The U.S. Supreme Court later reversed the Delaware Supreme Court's decision, stating that Robillard's inability to remember did not violate the Confrontation Clause. It held that the defense had a full and fair opportunity to cross-examine the witness, and that the fact-finder could observe the witness's demeanor under cross-examination, which satisfies the requirements of the Confrontation Clause. The court further clarified that Robillard's memory lapse affected the weight of the evidence, not its admissibility. The decision was sent back to the Delaware Supreme Court, with some judges expressing concerns about the parties not being given enough notice or a chance to present their arguments. Another judge would have taken more time to fully consider the case before reaching a conclusion. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.